Hot topic, hot topic, hot topic, hot topic. Nigerian travelers, guess where your passport is? Guess where the green passport is? Harsh realities of holding a Nigerian passport. In the past year alone, the EU raked in a staggering 3.4 million euros from rejected Schengen visa applications filed by Nigerians. This is not just like random money, right? This is the fact that so many people's hopes, dreams, missed opportunities, and the frustration of trying to get a basic visa. That's what this conversation is about. Today, we're talking about visas and the amount that was generated by the EU from Schengen visa is staggering. Before I tell you that amount, make sure that you comment, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. All right, so back to business. Passport power is not merely about the ability to travel. It's about the fact that it's an indicator that you have global mobility, freedom, and opportunity. Countries like Japan and Singapore, they are the ones, those are the passports that are at the top. They grant their citizens visa-free access to over 190 destinations worldwide. Meanwhile, here, us Nigerians are offering every little thing that I encounter complexity and constant rejection. Let's break down these numbers a little bit, right? Each Schengen visa application for a Nigerian traveler costs anywhere between 80 to 90 euros. It is a lot of money when you convert that to Naira. That is about 150K, 147K. Depends on the rate. A lot of people have to raise that money up. Then you have to buy, you have to show proof of funds. Then you have to, of course, have booked your flight. You have to have hotel over what? Because you say you want to travel, you want to go somewhere, you want to see a new culture, you want to be reunited with your loved ones. There's so many repercussions to visa rejections and I just don't feel like we talk about it enough. Like it's beyond the financial strain. There's so many times where you hear people say, I had a massive opportunity, a major opportunity, and I wasn't able to go because my visa didn't come out on time. I wasn't given a visa, even with proof of everything even with a letter of invitation. These people are taking advantage of us. They're destroying meticulously planned trips. They're just making life hard. And it's really just time for a kind of conversation about fairness and global travel. There's significant revenue that's being generated from rejected visas. And I say that if these people truly cared about Nigerians and cared about a diplomat diplomatic relations between Nigerian, uh, Nigeria and their, their respective countries, they would go ahead and only charge a minor administrative fee. And then if your visa is given to you, they should charge you the full amount for the visa. Why do you guys keep collecting 80, 90 euros from people when you know that majority of these past visa, these visa applications are going to be denied? We need a more transparent, inclusive visa process because what? is currently going on it ain't it it ain't it it's extortion it's feeling like they're taking advantage of us it's feeling like they know that they're going to deny multiple people their rights to travel and it's feeling like it is a money making scheme because tell me why your rejection rate is 60 to 70 percent but yet you're collecting all the visa applications and this is literally just like statistics for african applications my solution to show that you guys are here in good faith and you're doing this in good faith, reduce your visa fees, make it more of a administrative fee. And for the people that you give the visa to, go ahead and charge them full amount. Because why are you making millions off of a visa process when you know you're denying more than 50% of the people? Make it make sense. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know how the visa process needs to be reformed and how the Nigerian government needs to hold. Things like this is all about diplomacy, right? It's tit for tat. You give me, I give you. That's how diplomacy, wor diplomacy works. So Nigerian foreign ministry, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, there needs to be more show of power and to hold these people accountable. Hold them accountable. Don't let them treat your citizens like pure water. Not say there's anything wrong with pure water. Well, don't let them treat your citizens as less than because that's what they're currently doing. Comment down below and let me know your thoughts, how you feel about this.